In this example, we'll show how the custom report can be used to quantify from a survey spectrum how much aluminium is in a material when you also have copper. And the problem is that the aluminium 2S and 2P peaks are at the same binding edges as the copper 3S and 3P. So although the copper, you've got a, a copper 2P, so it's clear there's copper, it's not at all clear that there's aluminium. So if you look at the ratio of the possible aluminium and copper peaks in the higher kinetic energy, you, you see that this ratio is significantly different between a pure aluminium and a pure copper sample. And it, it's sufficiently big that it's possible to calculate using the, the formula that was shown, the amount of aluminium from the survey spectrum. So what we'll do is illustrate how this calculation works by creating a set of synthetic spectra. These are a blend of the pure copper and the pure aluminium peaks. And if we set up regions on these spectra and name them appropriately for the file that has been created to do the calculation, then we will be able to apply this formula using the custom report to these five survey spectra which are all in different proportions of aluminium and copper. Now you'll see that there's quite a wide region being set up. It's not, not clearly this region is not targeting the intensity of these peaks. And there is a reason for this. What I'm going to do is rather than using regions defined on the spectra themselves, I'm going to do a calculation that involves a least squares calculation and compute from the original pure aluminium and pure copper spectra that have their regions defined quite nicely, I'm going to calculate a background in a least square sense for these, these spectra that are of varying proportions. So the, those are the backgrounds that you'd expect for aluminium and copper if they were all on their own. But when you have a combination of these two, then the actual limits for the backgrounds are not quite so well defined as you might think. So there is an element of error that creeps in if you define a background on each of the spectra individually. So having calculated this in the least square sense, we calculate a background in a least square sense. We have regions that, as part of that least squares calculation, are now defined using skip background type and the background that was calculated in the least squares calculation. So when we apply this formula by loading it from the file, and this is the file with the various parameters all set up, so that these formula will be calculated and entered into the custom report. And here they are, two formulae uh, for each for the different percentage of copper and aluminium. And having selected the target spectra of this calculation. We press the apply report and you can see that the calculated values based on that formula or these formulae rather are as you'd expect 25, 50 and 75. This is all based on these formulae here.